Hey, what is up guys? So we have another casting for Spider-Man Homecoming as shooting is about to begin in just a few weeks. This latest one is going to be Martin Starr, who is most famously known now at least for being one of the stars of HBO's Silicon Valley. Now this makes him the latest addition to a cast which is already pretty impressive, of course starring Robert Downey Jr., Tom Holland, Melissa Tomei, Donald Glover, Michael Keaton, and that's just to name a few of the people in this movie. Now he is not new to the Hollywood scene, he's actually been in a lot of popular stuff you guys might have seen or heard. A few of the things on his resume include Freaks and Geeks, Party Down, Adventureland, Knocked Up, and Superbad. And I'm actually a fan of all of those, and now most specifically, I'm a huge fan of Silicon Valley, and I think he's one of the best parts in it. Now, obviously, when you look at his resume, and you look at all these cult classics that he's been in for modern day, you really gotta look at the type of character he's playing, which seems to be a nerdier type character, who is of course always picked on, but he's very intelligent. Now, as I like to do with all the recent castings, I have to speculate on who this character could be. And looking at his resume and what he's done, and I've actually had this person fan casted as a MCU character a while ago. And to me, honestly, I think he would make a perfect modern day version of Otto Octavius. Specifically with the nerdy resume he has, I think it would make a lot of sense. And it seems that, you know, Marvel likes to go the nerdier route with Otto Octavius. If you look at the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon they've done, they go specifically that route where he's, you know, very intelligent, but he has this nerdy look and everybody hates him. And I think, honestly, that would be a pretty good approach to this character in the MCU. Now, of course, he could just be any random other person. He could be, let's say, a teacher in Parker's school. And honestly, I think this could be one too. He could be like the person, you know, that's just kind of the crazy scientist that's like ranting about stuff. Maybe almost like a Dr. Salvig type character, you know? it's a He's kind of a little bit not all there and he's a little twitchy and things like that. I think, honestly, he would play that character perfectly well. So we're probably going to find out who he is sooner rather than later. So you guys, let me know your thoughts on who you guys wish he is down below. And have you guys seen anything he's in? And if you haven't, I highly suggest you guys check out Silicon Valley. Or maybe, just maybe, he's reprising his role from The Incredible Hulk when he was eating the pizza. Huh? Huh? See? It's all connected. So if you guys are enjoying CBC content and you play video games, you guys might be interested in knowing that we actually run a video gaming channel and a podcast called Control Breakers, which you guys can check out in the description below or by searching it up on YouTube. Podcasts, game reviews, and news topics on all the latest gaming news that are uh, sure to start some fanboy wars. So check it out, guys, and let me know what you think.